All praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Mahakadash. Yahweh's name is the Heavenly Father. It means He is. Yahweh Shai's name of His Son. It means He is who saves. Mahakadash is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. Um. Well, fuck Christmas, man. Fuck Christmas. Like, uh, let's get the scripture first of all. Jeremiah uh, 10. get that first of all learn not the way of the heathen Oops. hear the word hear the word which the Lord speaketh unto you O house of Israel, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at, at uh, for the, um, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen. Oh man, I can't read this because I'm actually driving, so that's, that's a dangerous thing. But basically, talk about how some people go into the like do all this stuff, um, the the heathen customs, you know, like the going into the. Uh, into the woods, cutting down the tree and sticking it into your house, you know, because basically this comes from um, sort of Babylonian worship. I think it was Nimrod, where you, you gifts, little gifts were put under trees and stuff to show that this this god was um, everlasting, you know, because uh, uh, the evergreen tree doesn't lose its leaves or something like that, you know. It's, it, it, it ain't nothing to. Do. I mean, you don't. The thing is, people don't think. People don't think why. Why are we getting these Christmas trees? Why is it a bunny rabbit in Easter? Why do we eat eggs? Why are we given? Um, why do we always have to have a roast? Do you know what I mean? Uh, in my opinion, the roast was part of the sacrifice. You know, you you sacrifice a uh, uh, a piece of meat. Let's put it that way. You know, whether it's a chicken, whether it's a, a turkey, whether it's a lamb or something like that. We know that during Passover we eat. We like to eat a roast, but and. Uh, these uh it's it's not you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes let's say to put two and two together and figure out that you know sacrifices you roast meat and uh on these days which are pagan actually pagan in origin we roast you know um, a lot of people roast meat so we don't need to do these things man we don't need to do a, a good friend of mine said a long time ago you don't need to do all the things that people that people do just because it's a custom you know it's not and actually if you find that you're doing that and Stevie Wonder said it if, when you believe in things you don't understand then you suffer we don't, we're, not, we're not supposed to be following all this bullshit so like I said to my I said to my kids no, no Christmas presents this year as always I'm your dad if there's something you need I will care for you I'll provide because that's my job but um, am I going to start trying to get Christmas presents, all this tooth fairy, um, Christmas presents, uh, birthday presents? No, we don't do that. We don't do that. When it comes to them and their mum, that's a different thing, but nah, I ain't doing that. Um, yeah, there's another scripture that, that comes to mind, which I can't quite get, but it's along the lines of, uh, we just, you know, how the Lord despises the feast dates, man. Like, one thing that I do, like, is like say for example <clears throat> um, if I'm unclean for whatever reason you know like maybe I, I've been in the garden and I touched a slug or maybe you know you know had some intimate time or something like that um, I really I, I ain't really like trying to uh, trying to hit the scriptures because I know the spirit ain't really going to be going to be with that, you know what I mean, like, I, I can't expect to get inspired by the because it is the spirit that gives understanding, right, so, um, you know, I ain't trying to, you're not really going to be getting any insights or getting that kind of connection while you're reading the scriptures, so, I'm, you know, bothered to do that, like, when I'm unclean and stuff like that, so, all these unclean things, man, like, but you can... There's being unclean and then there's like celebrating Oh man. Sorry, just the driving thing going on here.
if it's being unclean and then they're celebrate, you know, like actually celebrating all this nastiness, um, Saturnalia, taking part of a feast day, do you know what I mean? Like you're actually doing the thing that God despises most of all, which is most of all it's just being a filthy whore basically and by that I mean going at um, worshipping other gods messing about with different spiritualities you know what I mean like in the scriptures you know, it's, it, you know Israel is compared to bride you know but also with all of her with all of her going around after other different uh, philosophies she, you know she's often compared to you know being a filthy <laughs> A woman has, um, like, let's put it that, stepped around, you know what I mean? So, you have to understand that. So, um, yeah, fuck Christmas. We ain't, we ain't doing that. We ain't, we ain't making ourselves that that, that defiled by, by getting into other people's... You know, we ain't... We ain't nobody's perfect, right? But, but that is literally rolling around in the mud. Yeah, so that I'll say shallow one. 